You guys, she keeps pulling at her strap on her helmet and taking it off. She is so over this helmet, huh? Are you all done with the helmet? These are Avery's new favorite toys. The boys brought her these chips. They wanted me to open them, and then she was just having too much fun. She likes the crinkle sound that they make, and so they're, like, all gross and crunched up inside. But she likes the sound of it, huh? She loves crinkle toys. In fact, her absolute favorite toy right now is this. It's supposed to be like one. Okay, I don't know why it's not focusing. There it goes. It's supposed to be one where you like put it on the baby's hand and the baby like chews on it. But her hands are too big. So she just holds it and chews on it. And you can see it's gotten a lot of love. It's like dark and gross. But she loves this toy. Absolutely loves this toy. There you go. She loves that toy, huh? Good morning, you guys. I actually haven't vlogged in a long time. I don't even remember what my last vlog was. It is just so hard to vlog. I just feel like we don't have much going on. It's still been kind of cold outside. We just got hit with daylight savings, and it's kicking our booties. <laughs> the boys have been a lot more emotional because um, of the time change. Avery's actually handled it really well. She used to wake up super early, and now with the time change, she actually sleeps in a little, so that's nice for me. But even for Anthony and I, it's just so hard for us to get up in the morning. Yeah. It's just, oh, I hate it. So that's what we've kind of been dealing with. This past weekend, I didn't even vlog at all. Usually I vlog on the weekends because we have things to do. We had zero plans this weekend, and the weather was horrible. Like, it snowed all day Sunday, and um, Saturday it was, like, rainy and cold. So we didn't go outside. We were literally just stuck inside, and it felt like the longest weekend ever. I was like, I cannot bring out the vlog. There's nothing to show you guys. Even today, like, there's really nothing going on, but tomorrow is Avery's last, fingers crossed, last helmet appointment. Two weeks ago we went and they said, I think she's almost done. Let's have her wear it for two more weeks, which would be up to tomorrow. And then we'll take pictures and then we should be done. So as long as the pictures are looking good, I think honestly her helmet only has like four weeks left in it anyway or two weeks extra because like she was going to wear up until almost the very end anyway so she's running out of room and we're all just over it so i'm really really hopeful that tomorrow is her last day wearing the helmet like half of tomorrow so technically today would be the last full day wearing it hopefully hopefully i have i'm like part of a facebook group of this it's called like doc band community because that's what her helmet's called it's called like a doc band and I have heard of people that they like graduate where they're not going in the clinic anymore, but they still have to wear the helmet for like two more weeks to like get the full use out of it. So I'm not sure if that'll be our case or if we'll just truly be done. So we'll see, but I'm very excited. I'm excited not to have to go to downtown every other week anymore. And Avery just has enough things going on. So it's nice to take something off of our plate. I mean, we've been going to this... Well, our first, like, our console appointment was back in August, and she's been wearing the helmet since September. It'll be two days shy of her wearing the helmet for six months if we get it off tomorrow. So it's been just a really long time. So anyway, super excited about that. So I'll probably make this, like, a two-day vlog because I always get out the vlog, and I have good intentions to vlog all day, and then I just don't. The boys are both at school. That's why it's quiet right, right now. It's Tuesday, so Porter has preschool. Um, no Ivy yet. I am going to be watching her today, but um, usually uh, my brother-in-law Garrett brings her a little later on Tuesday. So I'm waiting for him to text me to tell me when he's bringing her over. And then this weekend, I do plan on vlogging, hopefully. I'm actually going to go on a girl's trip, which I don't go on very many girl's trips. Um, it's my mom's birthday coming up, and so my sisters and my sister-in-laws and I decided to surprise my mom and treat her to a girls' weekend. I don't think we've ever done, like, a girls' weekend trip before, so this is kind of exciting. 
girls and then plus my brother Peter. Can't forget him. He's also coming along because he's just one of us girls anyway and he's super pumped that he was involved. So anyway, we are all going. It's going to be super duper fun. We're going to Lexington, Kentucky. We didn't want to go too far. We wanted it drivable. So it's only three hours drive away from here, just a little bit south. Never, I don't think I've ever been to Lexington. Maybe I've been once. I haven't been in a long time. And we're going to go, we're going to like see some horses because apparently that's like the thing to do in Lexington. And we're going to see a psychic never seen a psychic before my mom and I and my sisters have all always wanted to do it so we're gonna see a psychic and get our fortunes read is that how it is I don't know so that'd be interesting I guess like bourbon is a really big thing there so we're going to like a cocktail like bourbon class or something and there's like a brewery right next to our Airbnb so it's just gonna be a fun weekend and of course we're gonna do some shopping It'll be super fun. So hopefully I can bring out the camera. Sometimes it's a little awkward if I bring out the camera, so I might, I might not. Um, and then Anthony is going to stay here and hold down the fort with all three kids. I'm going to be gone Friday, Saturday, and then like half of Sunday. So hopefully he can handle it. That's a long time for Anthony and all three kids. And they've been super crazy because of daylight savings. So hopefully by Friday they'll have like evened out and been, be nicer. So... We'll see, but I'm super excited to get away and not be a mom for a couple days. So, yeah, I plan on vlogging that. But other than that, this week is just a normal week. Um, It's finally going to warm up a little bit. Today's supposed to be like 68. So I'm hoping to get outside with all the kids. It's a little chaos when I try to get all the kids outside and I'm babysitting Ivy because then that's four kids that I have outside that I have to like watch at all times. And I'm just not one of those parents that just like lets my kids go outside and I just have faith that they won't get abducted or or run away or I don't know. We live in a very safe part of town, a very safe neighborhood. But you just, I don't know, I watch too much true crime. You just never know. So I'm like always trying to keep tabs on everybody and thankfully the babies don't really move. Avery has been getting better at sitting. She sits, if we distract her, she'll sit for 10, 15 minutes at a time. Um, she's not sitting where I can just like sit her and leave her alone though because every so often like when without warning she'll just topple over but she is getting better about that we have her um, one-year-old cake smash photo shoot coming up I actually reached out to, to the photographer because it's been giving me a lot of anxiety about like I'm doing this cake smash for Avery but she's not really sitting like how are we going to get pictures but the photographer was like very experienced. I've never worked with her before, so it'll be interesting to see how she is. But she said she's had clients before that are in Avery similar situation. She has different props we can use and we'll just make it work. So I'm super excited that that is still on. So that is not this weekend, but next weekend. Um, and then the weekend after that, Avery turns one. It's just so crazy that we are almost at a year old for little Avery, which means that Easter is coming. Um, I have bought a few things for the kids' Easter baskets. I'm getting them some new um, Tonys because they have a little Tony box and bathing suits. I didn't get one for Porter. I hope he's like doesn't care. I don't think he will. But like he gets all of Grayson's hand-me-downs, so he doesn't really need it. But I usually always get the kids like summer things. So I usually get them like sunglasses, which they have. So I'm not getting them that. And then like some kind of bubble machine, which I plan on doing that. And then. Um, so, uh, bathing suits. Grayson has like none because he's always sizing up and Avery has none because I have no baby girl clothes, girl bathing suits. So I got one for Avery, one for Grayson. And then I plan on going to the store maybe this weekend and like after girls weekend and getting candy because that's like most of what you put in the Easter baskets anyway. So trying to prepare for that. I need to buy some birthday uh, toys for Avery's birthday. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to get her. We just have so many baby toys and she's not doing what a typical one-year-old would do. She's not crawling. She's not walking. So it's like I see a lot of things about like balance bikes, which like eventually she'll get to that, but I don't know. So we'll see what I end up getting her, but I'm going to get her just a couple things. And then, of course, we're going to have a birthday party for her, so she's going to get a lot of presents there, too. We're actually expecting a really high turnout, so I'm excited about that. And we're going to have it on Easter. Yeah, I've told you guys about that, but 
yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm trying to catch you guys up on everything. It's like nothing's been happening, but then all of a sudden a lot of things are going to happen. Like right after Avery's birthday is then Grayson's birthday. We're going to have a friend party this year for him instead of a family party. That's something new. We've never done that before. Um, so hopefully a lot of his... Um, kindergarten classmates come to his birthday party and then soccer is starting back up i just got the email the other day from grayson soccer coach like okay practices are gonna start at the end of march first game is beginning of april so yeah we're starting to get back into the busy time which is just so needed i just thrive on being busy and having a schedule and then the weather's gonna be nice and i'm just so craving going on family walks and exploring new parks with the family because that is all we did last summer was we just went every day it was nice and um, we could. We would go out and do walks and go to the parks and run the kids' energy out. So I'm just so looking forward to the nicer weather coming. So anyway, I just keep talking, talking, talking. Avery's just rolling all around. Where are you going, Avery? Felix. Felix has been enjoying the nice weather too. He escaped three or four times yesterday. Bad cat. He likes to go outside and try to eat the grass. What are you doing? Where are you going? Okay. I think she's getting ready for a nap. You ready to go night? Eh. Go night. Okay. Hopefully I'll vlog more today, but if I don't, I'll pick it up tomorrow to give you the update on Avery's helmet. Send good thoughts, good vibes that tomorrow is the end. I am just so ready to get past this helmet phase of her life. So we're going out. We're going out. We're at the park in the front pond and it's so amazing. We're out at the park. There's no one here because it's like one, almost two o'clock in the afternoon. So everybody's still in school. So we're taking advantage. It is like 70 degrees out right now. It is so, so, so warm. Yeah. I was like, we have to go to the park. My mom stayed back. The two babies are napping, but she's staying there. And Anthony's home too, just in case they wake up and I'll go back. But um, I just wanted to take the boys out just for a couple minutes because they have a lot of energy and there's only so much we can do around the house. So we're just playing at our local park right now. But I wanted to update you guys. Avery had her last and final helmet appointment this morning. I meant to vlog it and literally we were there for like 20 minutes. It went so fast. They took final pictures of her and then they came out and like showed me like before and after pictures. They said they're gonna send them to me. The change that we have seen in her head has just been incredible. Um, so it's much more round. They're still like a little bit of flatness on one side is just like always gonna be there, but whose head is truly perfect anyway? And she's gonna have hair, it'll cover it up. So, but what it was beforehand, it's so, so much better now. So, so glad um, that we got it off a little bit early. I think technically she could have gone like two more weeks in the helmet, but so glad that they said that she is done. And so yeah, now the helmet is off. She's taking a nap right now, but when she wakes up, I'll vlog and show you her. I mean, I've been having the helmet off more and more anyway, just to try to get her ready for the transition of not wearing the helmet. But yeah, she's taking a nap for the first time since like December without a helmet on. So super excited for her. So glad that we're done with those because it was every other week and like an hour round trip and it's downtown. It was just like inconvenient. So I'm so glad that that's done. Now we just have like physical therapy appointments and those are just at the house. So I don't have to like travel for that. So, so glad that's done. Um, I've said it before, but today was two days shy of her wearing the helmet for six months straight. So it was a long journey. We actually started the whole process back in August was when we had our initial consult. And then September 15th was the first day she got her first helmet. And then um, today is March 13th. It is the last day that she had her helmet on, so. Really glad we did the process, but I'm glad that it's over too. It was just a lot of work and it was like me doing all of it. Um, you know, cleaning the helmet every day and making sure the strap was on right and 
doing the appointments and scheduling and working around work schedules and my mom helped so much towards the end because I started watching Ivy and so she came over every time to watch the kids so it was it was a team effort for sure so anyway um, that's the update I didn't vlog anymore yesterday so I'll just make this a two-day vlog and we're just gonna play at the park and then we'll have to go home and then play around the house wake up because it's just I cannot take four kids out to the park that would just be that would just be torturous for me so we're not gonna do that <laughs> but for now we're just gonna enjoy the park for a couple more minutes till we have to go home but I hope you guys are getting some little tidbits of spring unfortunately today's like kind of the last day tomorrow's supposed to be just as warm but rain and then it's just supposed to rain the next few days and then this weekend back down to the 50s and just more rain so I think like next Monday they're saying snow like snow flurries like not a ton but it's just like this is it and then it's gonna get cold for a while so such a bummer but we're trying to enjoy it while we can Guess who doesn't have a helmet anymore? That would be Miss Avery Brand. Did you graduate? Did you graduate your helmet? Yeah. So here's the cute little diploma certificate they gave to Avery. It's so cute. It has her name and the date on it. And she loves playing with it. And then I just have her two helmets here. Here's the second one and here's the first one. I want to go to Build-A-Bear and get Avery a Build-A-Bear to put the helmets on. I guess when you go during their birthday month, um, you only have to pay how old they're turning. So since Avery's turning one, we'd only have to pay $1 for a Build-A-Bear. So I want to go do that. Maybe we'll go do it during spring break or something. But yes, Avery is done. I can dress her in all the pretty bows and the berets and everything I want because she doesn't have to wear a helmet anymore. It's so amazing. It's been so weird, like putting her down for naps and then coming to get her after and like not seeing a helmet on because <laughs> she always wears them when she's sleeping because I feel like that's when the head grows the most. So it just feels weird like she's got no helmet. It's just bare head. Avery, say yay. Yay. No more helmet. No more helmet. Yay. <laughs> Whoa.